y'all, how's it going? I had to jump on here real quick because I have somewhat of a dilemma, uh, a little situation that I want to get y'all's opinion on. Please ignore the bag on top of my head. I'm trying to color my hair and forgot to, to uh, grab some plastic bags. So, you know, we're going to do what we got to do to make it work, uh, to process the color. And I came outside to sit out here. Um, but as y'all can see, we are not camping, okay? We are at the house. The girls did not want to go camping, and um, I was going to wait until after they left before I put a video out, but I need some advice from my friends and my family in the YouTube world because y'all know we live in Florida, and I have no family or friends in Florida besides y'all. So, I have so much of a situation that I'm trying to uh, get some clarity on and Philip is not helping me with that. So I figured why not jump on here real quick and ask y'all. Now, if you haven't been here before, I'm Coco, okay? We're living that Florida life. Um, usually we have some camping videos going on, but the grandkids is here. So uh, we're at home and that's my problem, y'all. For y'all that know me, that's my problem, y'all. Since I am back at home, now I'm looking at getting the back patio together for the fall because it's too hot to really be sitting out here in the summertime. I'm only out here right now because I got this bag on my head processing my color. But anyway, so my my thing is, is that um, we moved back in April. Okay. Now, when we moved, I threw away all the patio furniture and everything. And outside was my sanctuary, y'all. I spent a lot of my time in meditation and relaxing. So now I'm going to have to get new patio furniture. But anyway, so when we first moved here, we hadn't even been here a day, y'all. And a bird, well, two little birds had took over my plant. Let me show y'all. This plant right here. And it's growing, it was growing so beautiful, y'all. I used to have it in the house, but I had to put it outside because the house is different. This house has carpet. The other house didn't have carpet. But anyway, I have this one and I also have that one. So they just been outside. They've been neglected, y'all. I really have been neglecting my plants. This one needs to be repotted. It's so many new leaves that's growing in there. But luckily, these plants you don't really have to do a lot with, okay? Okay, so I really don't have to do a lot with those plants, thank God, because I've been neglecting them. I really have. But anyway, my dilemma or what it is that I need help with to make a long story longer, <laughs> they end up having eggs. So they, they made the nest inside the plant. They end up having eggs. And I think I showed y'all in the beginning of one of the videos that we were going to have babies. I was worried about this bird taking over my plant. But it looks like we're gonna have babies. So I'm like, okay, we're gonna have babies, y'all. I was excited about it. I was excited that we were gonna be able to see the babies grow. And, um, oh, that's a beautiful butterfly. butterfly. Oh, it's huge, too. Oh, that was a beautiful butterfly. I don't know if y'all got to see it or not, but oh my goodness, it's so big. I've really been missing out, not taking advantage of this backyard. I really let me let me show y'all this right quick. Hold on. It's just so hot out here right now, y'all. I can't even open up my eyes to even speak. <laughs> you know, I'm all squinched up because because you know it's just it's Florida and it's hot. But I'm just trying to figure out what we can do with the patio. So this is the space that we have to work with, which is a pretty decent space. It's a pretty decent space. So we've been neglecting it. We've been we've been camping and we've been neglecting it. We, you know, Philip um, don't even have a grill out here. So <laughs> as much as he liked the barbecue, we ain't even got no grill out here. So he's going to uh, um, have to get a new grill and everything. But anyway, let me get back to the story. So we had the baby birds and I'm all excited about it. They hatched, y'all. The, the babies are born, y'all. They're so tiny. They're so little. Oh my goodness, they're alive. They're moving. Oh. They actually hatched. They ended up being like four little babies in there. And then I got stressed out because the mama was leaving, but I guess she was leaving to go get some food, but I thought she had abandoned the babies. Where is the mama? She haven't been back all day. Look at them with their little mouths open. They hungry. 
where is the mama? So I Googled it and I was looking on Google to try to figure out what do I need to do? How am I going to feed these babies? Because now I feel obligated to feed these babies because they in my plant, right? Where is the mama? She been gone all day. I haven't even seen her hanging out in the tree or nothing, babe. Ooh. How we going to feed them? I'm like, uh, what am I going to do with these babies? So I Googled it and they was basically like, I'll just leave it alone. You know, if the mama feel threatened or something, she may leave the baby. So I'm like, oh my God, I can't just let these babies die. I was just like, okay, let me stay away from them. Let me leave them alone. So we had went camp and we came back. Um, and one evening I saw that she was back in there with the baby. So I was like, okay, good. She haven't abandoned the baby. She probably just out looking for food. The dad used to bring food or the mom, whichever one. It was one that would be in there with the babies. Um, and then the other one would bring the food. But then I didn't see the other one no more. So I don't know. Maybe she was a single mother and she had to work during the day. And, you know, she come back and feed her babies in the evening time. The babies was good. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in um, to the house because it, 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 it's hot out here, y'all. And speaking of plants, I also need to replant this one. This money tree is growing so good, and I need to put it in a different um, planter. I got to get back to taking care of my plants. Look at, look at them, and it's just growing so good. Growing so good. I got babies coming out of it. Philip put this um, stick in here to kind of help it um, stay up because it was starting to droop over. So, yeah, I'm starting to get things back together for the house. I really need to wash this color out of my hair. But anyway, so what my main concern is, is that there was a, um, one day I was laying in the bed and Phyllis started hollering and screaming <laughs> my name. So I jumped up and ran in here. At first I thought it was going to be like a lizard or a frog <laughs> because, uh, you know, he has a thing about green lizards and frogs. But when I came here, it was a snake. When Philip opened the door, he scared the snake, and the snake ended up going up under the patio, y'all. So I don't know if it's a snake being up under there. I don't know. But Philip put some snake away out, so hopefully that's going to help with the snake. So I came over here and looked out the window, because that's where the snake came. The snake slid it down and went over here up under the patio. So it went up under the deck or whatever. And so the mama bird, she was over there looking like, you know, where did the snake go? The bird literally was looking like, you know, flew over here and was like, where did the snake go? Looking to see, <laughs> see where the snake was. I mean, she, the, the bird's only about this big, y'all. They only about this big. But she was looking. Either the mama or the daddy, I don't know which one it was, but they was looking. They was like, you know, looking back and forth, like where did the snake go? So when we came back, there was a literally a door on top of the um the nest. So they, they put a door on their house. <laughs> well, I thought I was gonna be able to show y'all the babies starting to fly or something, but they didn't came and put a front door on there. <laughs> you can't even look at their house no more. <laughs> Them birds are smart. Protecting their baby from the snakes or protecting the baby from us. I don't know. But when I was doing my research and trying to figure out what to do with the bird's nest, they basically was like, just leave it alone. So I was all worried and everything because um, the mama had flew away and we didn't know what to do with the with the birds. Philip wasn't really making a big deal about it, but I'm just like, I was really stressed out, y'all. Like I was really stressed out because it was hot outside. She wasn't feeding the birds. And the dough is back open. They then took the dough off of there and it's back open. And the crazy thing is, y'all, we don't even know what happened to the other babies. I don't know if they took them, if they passed away, but I don't see no bones or nothing in there. So I don't know if they just got big enough and flew out. We don't know. So now I'm like, are they about to have some more eggs? And if so, I'm going to be stressed out again. So that is my question to y'all. What am I supposed to do? Because I went on there and I started Googling it. And Google said that it is illegal in some states to move bird nests. Did y'all know that? Because I didn't know that. But how they going to know? I mean, it's in my plant. But at the same time, you know, they do be watching. They do be watching y'all. See it? You see it pop on? But anyway, <laughs> so that's my dilemma. And that's my question. I just need to know. 
If y'all can help me out. If y'all can help me out, I just need to know what would y'all do? Would y'all just leave the bird nest inside of there and just let them go through their natural cycle of life or whatever's going to happen? Or would y'all move it before they put the eggs in there? Because once they put the eggs in there, of course, I'm not going to move it, but I'm probably going to be stressed out again. And the possibility of it um, bringing snakes, I'm going to be stressed out about that. I mean, I have my fountain that I brought back from the other house. And I really, I haven't even turned the fountain on because it looks real snaky out here. Okay. There's a whole, back behind us is a whole like creek and um, trees and everything. So there's no telling what kind of animals will probably come up here. So Philip did put some snake away down. We haven't seen another snake yet, but I just, I feel like if they do, you hear all the noises. That's all day. And night, it's even worse. It's even worse at night because you hear the frogs and everything. Y'all hear that? I don't be sitting out here. <laughs> what is going on out there? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm about to go back inside. Go ahead and wash this color out of my hair. Um, I'm going to go back to just being brown. The red was fading too much. And although I love the red on my hair, I just want to do something um, different. I'm really wanting to cut these locks. Like I am, um, you know, I'm really wanting to cut them. But I ain't never had no hair, y'all. You know, so when I was able to reach up and, and touch it in the back, I, you know, when I was able to... <laughs> couldn't nobody tell me nothing, okay? <laughs> I ain't never had no hair, you know, so... I always keep my hair cut short, so this is the longest that my hair has ever been. But anyway, there I go, rambling on, going a different direction. But if y'all could please, please just leave a comment and let me know what should I do about this bird nest before I get the patio furniture and start getting the patio together because I don't want it to be a problem. But anyway, if y'all just leave a comment down there, I would really appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.